Hi there, this is Matthew from Patchworks, and today we're going to have a look at the Rossum Evolution, which is Dave Rossum's take on the classic ladder filter originally developed by Moog for the Emu Systems 2100. Paired with the Evolution, I have the Instro Troika, which is a fully analog triple oscillator module, and it looks pretty similar to the oscillator mixer section in a Moog Model D, and perhaps it took inspiration from the Model D when Instro designed it. And that is why I paired this module with the Rossum Evolution, because I thought, let's try and capture a little bit of the Model D sound if we can. Looking at the Rossum Evolution, there's four main controls. We have frequency, which adjusts the frequency cutoff of the filter. We have Q, which adjusts the emphasis at the frequency cutoff. We have Genus, which allows us to choose from three poles all the way up to six poles, and it's a continuous choice. So we're able to interpolate between three poles and six poles just by moving this knob here. And we have CV control over that too. Attenuverted CV control, in fact. And then Species, which allows us to adjust the input level prior to going into the ladder filter. So this acts as a distortion. It's a very gentle and subtle distortion, but it sounds really nice. Okay, so now I'm gonna patch the Troika into the Rossum Evolution, and we're gonna do a classic saw wave ladder filter cutoff sweep. Right away you can hear the characteristics of the ladder filter. Here's with a pulse wave instead. It's a great sounding filter. There's many CV inputs as you can see on the Evolution. Just for the filter frequency we have one volt per octave tracking which allows you to use it as a sine wave oscillator and have keyboard tracking for that sine wave, but also just for keyboard tracking for your filter. And then above that, we have frequency CV2, which is the attenuverter input. And then above that, we have an attenuator input for CV3. These two inputs are summed together, and that sum is what's going to affect the frequency itself. The same goes for the other inputs. Attenuverter with a full control CV input, attenuverter, full control, attenuverter, full control. All of them summed to affect their main parameter. Let's talk about some of the cool stuff about the evolution. When you're using a ladder filter and you give it some resonance or some cue, you'll notice that there's a pretty dramatic volume drop. This is by design. However, a lot of people don't like that. I'm one of those people who would like to have the volume stay as I'm increasing the resonance. So on the evolution, you have a cue level compensation. So as that volume is going away, I'm able to turn up the cue level compensation and bring the volume back. I have the classic ladder filter, and I also have the option to have it be more of a typical filter that you'd find in Eurorack. Let's listen to that. So here I am. I'm going to go back over to my sawtooth. I'm going to give it some resonance. Immediately you can tell that the volume went way down, but now I can compensate. It just sounds so good. Let's talk about Genus for a second. A three-pole filter is an 18 dB filter when it comes to the evolution. A signal one octave above the cutoff frequency will be attenuated by 18 dB with the three-pole setting. Two octaves, it'll be attenuated by 36 dB, so on and so forth. 4 poles, 24 dB filter, 5 poles, 30 dB, 6, 36 dB. So 6 dB for every 3 poles. Now this knob allows you to move in between them continuously, which is a really interesting idea. But let's have a listen to that. So this is 3 poles, 4 poles, 5 poles, and six poles. As you can tell, it gets quieter the more poles you get because the filter cutoff slope is getting steeper. So it's louder at an 18 dB filter. Now let's send it some envelopes. Can you hear that?
hear the differences. It's a bit subtle. Three pulls, four pulls, five, six pulls. Okay, let's modulate that. Listen to how liquidy it gets. Let's check out Species now. So Species is intended to be a distortion. To get distortion in this ladder filter, what you do is you increase the signal going into the ladder. And that's exactly what Species does. This adds a very subtle and gentle distortion, but a noticeable one and a very usable one. As you can tell, it has changed the character of the sound quite a bit. I have it on a four pull filter right now because that is the classic ladder filter, typically a 24 dB filter. Cool, and we can modulate that as well. This is an excellent sounding filter. But I hope you enjoyed this presentation on the Rossum evolution. Thanks for hanging out with us at Packers.